Hey folks, Jim Bernankovich here with All Points Design. That's allpointsdesign.ca. And today we're talking about the Oregon State University Permaculture Template. Specifically, we're taking a look at the local ecology survey, but we're talking about image replacement. Now I've done a tutorial on this before, but a few folks are asking for it again. So we'll do it one more time. So basically when you come to the template, the template has lots and lots and lots and lots of images. And those images, some of them you can just leave, sun, water, minerals, things like that. Uh, but sometimes you'll get to things like your uh, producer, your primary conducer, producer, pardon me, primary consumer, secondary consumer, and tertiary consumer, and you'll want to change these images. So the way we set this up, it allows you to change these out really easily. You could bring in the image and resize it and do a bunch of, of work, but there's an easier way and we could do it two ways. We can either click on the image and we can go up to the top and say, replace image, upload from computer, search from web, drive, photos, lots of options, or we can right click and replace image. And usually I'm gonna to go to the upload from computer. So once that pops up, then we have our little upload bar and I've already found a black chickadee photo that I wanna pull up. So I'm gonna grab the black chickadee photo. It's gonna create the image and so it's automatically going to upload the image and resize it. Now, if we really like this circle masking, we can go up to the crop tool, click on the arrow beside it, go to shapes, and then click the, uh, the mask that we want, which is a circle. And so it automatically puts it in. So in a couple of clicks, we can pull this back in. Next, as we go down to the bottom, we've got a few uh, elements we need to include. We need to include the common name, and then we need to include the binomial Latin name. So we find those uh, either through the internet or through our own ability and understanding. And the last thing we need to do is come over here to our sources and just say where we found these, uh, these images and what they are. So what's the access date? Access date is the same for all of them. What is the name? So we know that um, we know what we're referring to. And then what's the URL? And that's it. Simple, quick, easy. Uh, if you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe or leave a comment below. And we'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care, folks.